try again <laughs> uh, good morning my loves I'll wait for a couple of people to jump on um, I thought that I would jump I thought that it would be a really good time for me to share how I do my intuitive readings and card readings um, because they're quite different to a lot of people that go and get their tarot cards done and go for a reading um, I find that we'll see if anyone's gonna watch <laughs> um, and when you jump on, make sure you say hi, where you're watching from, one if you're watching now and a two if you're watching the replay and any questions, pop them below. Um, but basically, my intuitive readings are a little bit different. So I used to do card readings very similarly to a lot of um, mediums and psychics um, until I started to really understand awareness and consciousness um, at a deeper level where I believe that we all have choice. So... Um, when you factor in the fact that we have choice, you can read for somebody um, their cards and depending on where they're at, at that point in time, they can have a reading and it can show a timeline um, moving forward. But if they were to make a new choice and have a different energy, you could get a whole different bunch of cards and a whole different direction so I personally don't feel um, comfortable telling people um, too much about their future because I believe you're you determine your own future and you can change your future very very quickly and um, so I actually do readings very much um, with spiritual counseling as well and working through your energy blocks and um, suppressed emotions and um, things that sometimes we like to lie to ourselves about so we're not actually um, recognizing um, or for confirmation of things so that we can start to make new choices and change and um, so I do do a I will ask I will tune into source um, and I'll ask for how many cards for each sp specific person um, and that can vary and I will um, ask for any past blocks, present blocks and immediate future blocks um, to come up and um, when those cards come up I connect in with spirit and I read the card and any feelings, thoughts and emotions because I'm an empath um, and any words that come through and I will share through those things so that people can recognize okay so these are the things that are, are, are my issues at the moment um, these are my past issues and things that we can talk through as the cards come up so after I've shared the information then there's some time to reflect and communicate together so hold space work through the emotions work through the thoughts that come up and um, do some clearing of the energetic field so um, that means that the client can share um, and any further messages that download and come through come I share through and then what we do is we do a clearing if we clear all of that energy away so that the person is more likely to go away and make new choices to make um, and create more receiving so that they can shift that issue. Um, I also will ask Spirit about life's purpose, relationship, health, and it works in a very similar way. So it will bring up the current issues. So it's we can only change the present moment, um, and that is the moment that's most important. So if we're living in the past, then it is important to bring up some of that stuff and work through it and go inwards and see what it is that we can shift and how we can change. Um, and that is so much easier when you have got um, this uh, process where you can do some coaching in between. So it's a process of not only reading someone's block. So um, I have the lovely gift of being able to um, read people's energy fields, their thoughts, feelings and emotions and sometimes that means recognising things and acknowledging things that are there that that person doesn't always see and sometimes they're not ready to receive or see that themselves either. Um, but all I can do is share from that space and people can either make the choice to recognise it so that they can work through it and make change. Um, otherwise, we can stay in denial. And, and sometimes when we go on our personal growth and healing journeys, we get to a certain amount of work and people think, yeah, I've done so much work 
and then they want to stop. They kind of want to stop because it gets too hard because it's a continuous um It's a continuous journey. Um, We will never completely work through all of our stuff. So it means daily recognition of what's going on um, and reflection and going within and and making new choices and checking in with our energy and um, looking at the lessons out of every experience. So um, there is no end to our journeys um, and we're continuously learning and growing. So, um, but unless we're ready to receive certain information, sometimes we can stay in denial of that because it can be too difficult. So the way, that's sort of the way that I do my intuitive readings is the cards will come up, they will bring through messages from source and spirit and with the thoughts, feelings, emotions, and then we talk through what comes through and clear that energy so that um, it's a healing journey. There's a lot of release Um, you can feel quite light afterwards you can leave with a lot more peace Um, it can give you confirmation on things that you already had going through for you Um, and then there's that continuous um, checking in process so um, people are I, I leave that space open for communication afterwards where you can sort of talk to me afterwards, anything that's sort of come up from that, um, the changes that have come through, any sort of um, support. I don't um, specifically give advice. I think that staying in the question, getting people to work out what's true for them um, has a much more effective Um, result with making change but giving a different perspective so people can check in with themselves rather than be given see my idea and projection of what and my um, perception of what could be going on for you may be maybe a little bit different to what you're actually feeling so it's always important to check in with yourself Um, you should never take somebody else's um, opinions as true for you until you sit with it and see what feels right for you so um I hope that gave you a little bit of an idea of the sort of intuitive readings that I'm being that I have on offer um so it's a bit of spiritual counseling energy clearing energy work um healing and releasing um those sessions I can do via zoom um or with social distancing, I think we're still allowed one visitor per household. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But um, they go for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and I don't cap that time. It will depend on how much stuff comes up and how much needs to be worked through. Um, so if you want to know a little bit more, if you want to book in, let me know. Send me a PM and I hope you all have a fabulous Tuesday. Okay.